Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Brian with Retired at 40. There has been lots and lots of pillow talk going on in the Facebook group and the MeWe group and not that kind of pillow talk. Get your mind out of the gutter. We're talking of course about the Harvest Right pillow that goes in the front of your freeze dryer. And if you've recently purchased a freeze dryer, you'll notice that you're not getting a pillow with it. And everyone's thinking, well, what gives? Because Harvest Right is no longer shipping their freeze dryers with a pillow. So as long as I've been freeze drying, I've had three freeze dryers now, three different freeze dryers. I had the older version, I've had two of this newer version. Um, the old pillows used to just slide right in. The newer version, um, it's a lot tighter fitting and it seems like Harvest Right has had a lot of issues with customers uh, having vacuum problems, having issues with getting that pillow to sit in there right. And sometimes this thing is a little difficult to get in here. It can obviously get pinched in between this this lip and our edge here of the vacuum chamber. And when you go to close the door, you're just not getting that proper seal. So from what I'm seeing from some people on the Facebook group and the MeWe group, Harvest Rights just sent, sending a note with the freeze dryer saying, we no longer need it anymore. Or do we? So for the last three or four years, I've been running my Harvest Right with a pillow, just thinking it's part of the process, it's just a necessity, it's just something you need to do the freeze drying. But ever since this started coming up in the groups, I decided, well, I'm just gonna stop putting my pillow in because I wanna see if I can see a difference. So the last five or six cycles I've run, I have not put the pillow in and I really haven't noticed a difference, but I'm not freeze drying the same thing head to head. So so in order to notice a difference, I think that that's what we're gonna have to do today. So today, I'm gonna do two identical batches. I'm gonna do the same weight on five trays. We're gonna run five trays without a pillow. And then we're gonna run five trays with the pillow. I'm gonna go upstairs, we're gonna get those trays ready. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. So we're gonna run two different batches. We're gonna run this in a large freeze dryer. I'm gonna use an oilless pump for both batches. Um, both batches will be pre-frozen. Both batches will have identical food. We're gonna make sure that all the food weighs the same in both batches. And then we're gonna see really if it makes any difference at all to pillow or not to pillow. That is the question. First up, we're gonna do some fresh green beans. And there's our first tray, 16, 16 grams. Here's our second tray, 16, 17 grams. Really, really close. And then we're gonna move on to our next food, pizza rolls. So lots and lots of talk about pizza rolls on the Facebook group, but you would already know that if you were a member, so if you're not, you need to sign up for the Facebook group or the MeWe group. I'm gonna cut my pizza rolls in half just so they have some, uh, some room for that water to escape. And these can tend to be pretty greasy and oily, so I'm actually putting them on our, our pre-cut parchment paper. Um, one thing I've noticed about the parchment paper is obviously it doesn't let things stick to the pan, but it also, if there's any leftover oils or fats or anything on certain foods, it tends to soak them up and keep them separate from the food, which has been kind of just a bonus of something that we didn't really expect them to do. It's not really why we created them in the first place, but has just been a, an added bonus bonus. Got 1678 on the pizza rolls for the first tray and 1678, 79 on the second tray. So really close on that one too. Next up, apples. And for apples, it's key to have a couple things. You want a little spray bottle if you have one filled with lemon juice and then one of these apple core and slicers. And I'll put a link for this one in the description down below. The core is nice because it'll take the core out and, as, and it'll push the rest of the apples through at the same time. And it gives you these nice little slices of apples. If you hit them with just a spritz of lemon juice, it'll keep them from browning. And then we like to top ours off with some cinnamon. So the last trays, we're gonna do some cashew milk. And the recipe for this is two cups of cashews. And you're gonna wanna soak them overnight. And then once they're uh, the good and soft, then you can uh, strain them off. So two cups cashews, and then four cups of water. 
I'm actually gonna double this recipe and then we're gonna combine it all together so we have one uh, consistency so both trays are the same. So I actually cut it down just a bit just so I could get all of this to fit in one container. I really want my consistency to be the same because I don't want the, uh, these results to vary in any way. All right, so we've got 1822 on the first one and 1822 on the second. We're totally even. And you're probably wondering what in the heck these green grid looking things are. And we have been working on these things for what seems like an eternity. And these are our new tray dividers. These are made in the USA. They're made out of food safe materials. They're, they're tolerant to the freeze drying extremes of temperatures. So these break down into individual pieces so you can change the size. They click together and then once they're together, so you can make the size of compartment that you want and then when you're ready, you can put them into the tray. These can also be built inside the tray if you want to do it that way. We built them also with a knife edge, so if you're cutting through something like spaghetti or pasta, it will cut the size compartment that you want. And we offer these for the medium freeze dryer and for the large freeze dryer. So we're extremely excited about these to say the least, and I think this is gonna be a game changer for freeze drying. It will just completely change the way that the process can be done. It's gonna give you a great way to do portions. It's gonna change the way that recipes can be done. Um, it'll make things much more uniform. And you'll see what I'm talking about once we get through this freeze cycle. These are available to order right now on freezedryingsupplies.com and I hope you guys are gonna be as excited as we are. So while we're waiting for everything to freeze, take a moment to subscribe to Live Life Simple. It just takes a quick second. Uh, while you're there, click the bell to get notifications of future videos that come out. For us, we release a new video every Sunday at 8 a.m. If you enjoy the video, if you find it helpful, make sure you hit that like button. And when you do that, it really helps YouTube get our freeze drying videos out to the right people. Uh, it really helps freeze drying get the exposure that it deserves. And if you're considering purchasing a freeze dryer, please use our affiliate link. It really helps you out, it helps us out, and it helps the entire freeze drying community. It keeps this YouTube content coming. It helps us maintain the Facebook and the MeWe groups. It allows us to do free giveaways every single week. It allows us to keep you informed with new information in freeze drying. It allows us to develop new products to help in the freeze drying world, make the whole process easier, smoother, more streamlined. And that in turn helps the entire freeze drying community. All right, so we're frozen. The machine's already at 18 degrees. And this first load we're gonna use with the pillow. So I'm gonna put it in properly. Check out our cashew milk with our dividers. That's gonna be awesome. Pizza rolls, apples, put our green beans on the bottom, and then our second tray of apples. I like to put the pillow in first. That way you know it's seated properly and then put that seal in around. We are up and running. That was super quick, 28 hours and 26 minutes. I can't believe it, but I think we're done. Check out our cashew milk. So here is round two. We're gonna keep all these variables the same, as close as we can. I'm gonna put all the trays in the same spot. Um, the, the starting temperature is really, really close. This one's 15 degrees, the last one was 18 degrees. The only difference on this load is gonna be there's not gonna be a pillow on. Same weights, same uh, tray order of the shelves, same weights on the trays. And we're gonna have our own little episode of Mythbusters to see if it really does make a difference. Stay tuned. All right, we're all done. Uh, it took 29 hours and 48 minutes. That's pretty darn close. We're gonna have to tally up the exact results here after we get the food out. I'm gonna use my moisture meter and make sure it's all done. If it's done, I'm gonna use the new food funnel. I'm gonna bag all this up, and then I'm gonna give you my opinion on the difference between pillow and no pillow. Before I bag these up, these are the pizza bites. I just wanted to show them to you. Uh, they are pretty cool. Uh, they're a lot like a combos, if you remember the combos snacks that they still make. Gives you a great little crunch. It's lots of flavor. It tastes just like a pizza bite, of course. But those could be pretty addictive, I think. And now I wanna show you this cashew milk. 
using our dividers. It just makes these little portions, cubes. You can just pull the grid out now and you've got 40 equally sized portions. And then I like to put milk into a ball jar like this and then if I need to just rehydrate just a portion. For instance, I take one of these, I add it to a smoothie every morning, I know how much liquid to add to it. And I really think that these dividers are just gonna be a game changer for freeze dryers because having equal portions like this, um, if you use a recipe, you know that you're getting an equal portion every single time. You know exactly how much uh, water or liquid to add back in to rehydrate, making a consistent product every time, especially if you're doing things like eggs or milk or just uh, spaghetti portions or anything like that. It's completely changed the way that I've freeze dried. In fact, going forward, all my recipe videos um, that can use these dividers will be using them and I will be giving you the recipe with uh, the results that I get. So from our little experiment, we discovered that it takes an hour and 22 minutes longer with no pillow than with the pillow with all of the same variables across the board. And of course, this is only one single experiment. And I would really appreciate it if you would go down in the comments section and give me some of your examples, maybe some of your experiences with the difference between having a pillow and not having a pillow. So my final thoughts, I would say having the pillow in there if you have one or you want to buy one, it definitely cannot hurt. It's, a, it's, it's an insulation pillow. Anytime you add insulation, it's, a, it's probably going to speed up the process at least a little bit. Like I said, it's not going to harm it in any way. But you're also going to be totally fine without one. In fact, I kind of prefer doing it without because I can see the food inside the chamber. I can see if there's something that needs attention. I've seen a lot of different threads on the groups that say it can damage your machine and certain other things. Um, yeah, I don't know if I would believe that. Uh, if Harvest Right promotes it without the pillow and they say it's okay to run without the pillow, you know, they're the ones that do extensive research on these and uh, I would probably take their word before I took anyone else's on a Facebook group. But if you do choose to use the pillow, make sure it's seated properly, make sure that it's sitting in the way that it's supposed to, make sure that seal is not being pinched because it's just gonna give you problems. It's gonna give you vacuum problems. It could possibly throw error codes. So when in doubt, get rid of the pillow. In the meantime, this is Retired at 40. Remember to live life simple and we'll catch you next week.